Having spent two and a half years working in a foreign exchange bureau, I'm making a series of videos to share some of the coolest and most interesting banknotes from around the globe. If you enjoy this video, please consider subscribing. Today it's the turn of the Australian dollar, the banknotes that quite literally changed the world. In the late 1960s, with the release of the first colour photocopiers came a wave of counterfeit banknotes. Back then, Australia's money was still made out of paper and not particularly advanced in terms of security features. In other words, it was fairly easy to make a convincing fake. And so Australia came up with an idea. What if they made their banknotes out of plastic? It was an idea that would go on to revolutionise world currency, when two decades later, after various failed prototypes and trials, the country released the world's first ever polymer banknote. What a beauty! The year, 1988, coincided with Australia's bicentenary, 200 years of European settlement, and the note reflects this theme. The front sees an Aboriginal youth with a morning star pole, symbolising the original settlement around 50,000 years earlier, and then the reverse commemorates European settlement, with the first ship to arrive in Sydney Harbour, the HMS Supply. In the hologram can be seen Captain James Cook. Now this note changed everything. Its release was a tremendous success, and Australia went on to introduce their first complete polymer series starting in 1992, a series that remains in circulation even today. And many countries have since adopted the technology themselves, including Canada, New Zealand, Romania and Vietnam, with a ton of other countries still in the process of phasing it in, such as the United Kingdom. Not only are polymer banknotes more secure, but on average they last two and a half times longer, with an expected lifespan of seven years. This obviously reduces production costs, and at the end of their life they're able to be recycled. What's more, a lot of paper banknotes aren't actually paper. The US dollar, for instance, is 75% cotton, which requires large quantities of water and pesticides to produce. Every stage of the polymer life cycle is more environmentally friendly, so they're cheaper, greener, more durable, and harder to counterfeit. When I say these banknotes changed the world, that's really not hyperbole. And now, some 31 years later, Australia is in the middle of releasing their second series, which are some of the most beautiful and advanced banknotes ever to be released. Let's start with the five. The first thing you'll notice is that it's the same size and colour as the previous version, and both feature the Queen on the front and Parliament House in Canberra on the reverse. This new series is very much a modern update as opposed to an all-out redesign. It's been over 25 years since the previous series was released after all. So what exactly has changed? Well most notably, the new note has this entire transparent window dividing it in two, making it near impossible to counterfeit. At the top is a Commonwealth star, and at the bottom the Federation Pavilion. And the pavilion has this incredible feature called the reversing five, where depending on the angle, a five appears either normally or backwards. And a bird theme has been introduced, with a native avian species featured on each denomination. On the five is the eastern spinebill, seen on the far left in colour changing ink, as well as in the transparent window, including a holographic diagram of the bird in flight. It's also rather strikingly visible under UV light, each note now also features a species of Australian wattle, and it's the prickly Moses wattle that can be seen on this one. If you look carefully with a magnifying glass, the plant's stem in the transparent window is actually microprint, made up of a line from the Australian constitution. And a tactile feature has been added to help the blind or partially sighted easily identify the denomination. Once again, the new $10 shares many similarities with its predecessor, its front features A.B. Banjo Patterson, an Australian bush poet, and its reverse, Dame Mary Gilmore, an important Australian writer. And there are many references to both of them on the note, including the nib of a pen at the top of the window, and a typical homestead from both their works at the bottom, with a reversing ten. The featured bird is a sulphur-crested cockatoo, again seen under UV light, and this note features the bramble wattle, like the five, its stem consists of microprint, extracts from Gilmore and Patterson's poems, No Foe Shall Gather Our Harvest, and The Man from Snowy River. For some bizarre reason, Australia skipped the $20 bill and went straight to the 50. The 20 is due to be released in October 2019, and will retain many of its current features, 
with the addition of a laughing kookaburra and box leaf wattle. The final new release is the $50. It's Francie's David Unipon, an indigenous Australian preacher, inventor and author, whilst the reverse portrays Edith Cowan, the first Australian woman to serve as a member of parliament. It also features a black swan, in the window, in colour changing ink, and under UV light, and the Cape York wattle. The symbols in the transparent window include an open book at the top, and the Raukan church, where Unipon was born and grew up, with a reversing 50. And then the microprint stem is made up of lines from his book, Tales of Australian Aborigines, and Cowan's maiden speech to Parliament. Lastly, the $100 bill hasn't been updated yet, but it's expected to be released in 2020, and will probably look something like this. The current version sees Dame Nellie Melba, an Australian operatic soprano who became one of the most prominent singers of her time, and the reverse portrays Sir John Monash, one of the country's greatest military commanders. The Australian dollar is without a doubt the most innovative currency in the world, and certainly one of the most beautiful. Even today, 31 years after the release of that first polymer note, the country continues to lead the planet at the cutting edge of banknote design 